Welcome to setting the starter solve frame. As you can see here, this track is, looks a little bit dirty. We can see a lot of bouncing around. Now, I know that the camera did have a little bit of a wobble, but I don't think this much, so it doesn't look as though we've got a fantastic solve. This orange triangle down here indicates where PF Ho decided where it was going to set the solver start frame. With PFO Pro, what we can do is manually set this start frame to be in a place that we consider to be better for the shot. A good place to start would be frame 1. What we can do now is clear the solution, spacebar again, set solve the start frame, and now resolve. As you can see we now have a much better camera track. There's still the odd little wobble but as I said the original camera movement was manual and did have a few little bounces in it. But You can see this whole area up here is now smoothed out. And if we go back to the 2D view the reason this starting point is the best point to start at for this particular shot is this is the widest part of the shot so there's an awful lot of areas to track and also it's the part of the shot that has the most movement towards the end of the shot there's no camera movement at all. Just for the fun of it why don't we set the start to solve frame to the last frame and see how that affects our solve. As you can see, we've actually reintroduced some of the bounces that were in the original track. So in this case, it hasn't improved. I hope that covers everything you need to know about setting the star to solve frame. Next time, I'll look at doing cleanup again in more depth.